Hello fam, welcome back to my channel. Today I want us to talk about a topic that really made me happy. I was not even looking for it and it just came in my one of those recommendation uh, YouTube gives you, right? Like you might like, thought you might like this video kind of suggestions I got on my homepage. And let me just say, I'm glad I clicked on it because it really, really made me happy. And just, I don't know, it, it's, it proved to me how beautiful life can be if you know, Africans came together and accepted each other and we opened our arms to one another. Let me just show you a snippet of this clip. We'll come back and discuss. If you thought that you are in Asmara, somewhere in Eritrea, but guess what? This is the Kampala and Rubaga division. This is where most of the Habisha people converge to come for Sunday service. And they have just come down from their church in Namungona. Eritreans, Ethiopians and Somalis have chosen Uganda as their first port of call. Some of them are political or economic refugees taking advantage of the Ugandan hospitality and welcoming policy on refugees. People feel comfortable to come to Uganda because of its stability, because of its peace, because of the friendship the hostility of the people. This evening, we take a walkabout in downtown Kabalagala. It's evidently clear there has been a tremendous influx of the Habisha community. The numbers are quite substantial, so much so that even along the roads, signposts are written in Tigrinya. The fusion of the Habisha, South Sudanese and Somalis in Kampala, together with the Ugandan indigenous communities, has created a unique mosaic that was not there five or ten years back. They have migrated here with their unique culture, work ethos and business acumen and be known to most Ugandans and they are reaping dividends. We are driving along Tankhi Road in Moyenga. This place, all the businesses, hospitality, retail trade and others are run by the Habisha community. And Muyenga, Tanki Road in particular, has been totally transformed by the Habisha community, who are also increasing in number. These people have got something extra that they have learned how to be in a community and pull up resources to work. So I believe they know how to pull up resources and they are a little bit trustworthy to each other and they work. They are into real estate, hospitality, retail business, medical and entertainment, among others. Considering that Eritrea is a relatively poor country, one wonders what drives their success in Uganda and what can Ugandans learn from them. First of all, they have mastered the financial discipline uh, of running economies, probably in the third world. The Muyenga Club of Old has now been redesigned to an amazing hangout area for Kampala's A-class, who frequent here to wine and dine. In Kabalagala, Helena has established a facility to answer the medical problems of both Habisha and Ugandans. We have come to the East Africa Medical Center. I ask, what do they think of Uganda? The people are very welcoming. You know, if you are a foreigner, you know, they don't make you feel bad about being here, they make you feel at home. Uh, by the time I came, I was surprised, like, how is this people, how is the, the population, how is this border thing? I was, like, a bit stressed of the border. For every foreigner you ask why they choose this country, their answer in most cases is because of peace and the friendliness of the Ugandan people. There is no doubt this fusion of Eritrean, Somalis and Ethiopians has added value to the pearl of Africa. Patrick Amara, NTV. That video you just watched is from NTV Uganda, and they were documenting how Eritreans live in Uganda in harmony and have opened businesses and hospitals and how they're working together with the community, with the locals, and the, like both sides talking about each other, the Ugandans being happy to have their trans there and their trans being really happy with how they were being treated by the Ugandans 
fans and how welcoming they they were towards them it just really made me happy we rarely hear this positive stories right we usually talk about like xenophobia and uh this like this region doesn't like that region and we all know the story right but once in a while to find this beautiful stories of you know africans integrating and coming together and embracing one another is just a beautiful beautiful story and i loved watching it but anyways fam let me know down below what your thoughts are about this story like would you like to see this more everywhere do you think um it's gonna take time till you know everyone starts embracing one another or do you think it's doable if you Ugandans and Eritreans can do it anybody in Africa can do it let me know down below I'll see you on the next one stay blessed bye